welcome back to Hand of Fate, possibly for the last time. We have done most of what the game has to offer. We've seen nearly every single item, and this time we're going to go against the dealer in a very special fight. Until now, I have shown compassion. You would be best to test me no further. We're going to do it in hard mode. We have a lot of encounters in hard mode, and unfortunately, it's not possible to escape a fight. If you want to see what cards I picked, I will go ahead and put them in thread. Worked long and hard. Money bags is not a good one to start with. Ingenious, don't you think? And cursed luck is also unfortunate, but that comes with Warlord. Useful. It's a rare king who has more respect for himself than his wealth. Ah, already. I could have used the lovers in case they had a ring. Roaming ever forward, hunting for the truth. But let's see if Mr. Lionel is with us today. Take my food. Sure. Why not? I can remove money bags. I will do so. I can't remove cursed luck. But that's going to be a feature. No. It would be bad luck to tempt fate and to possibly have him curse me. Expedition. Press on. I hope that is the curse that ends your quest. How unfortunate. Once many came to play the game, now it's so few. The bored, the obsessed. The weak. Holy patronage Something becomes a breather card. Their mind with anything else but their problems, with any other issue than the thing on their mind today. And we try stealing from the guildmaster. Doing now. I am sorry. Sad. Let's shop and see if that makes us feel any better. Uh, I was kind of hoping this would show up. Okay, especially since I don't have money for too much else. You think that will help you? I'm gonna keep the Warlord Helm. It does sell for money. Well, actually, no, hold on. I can use it right now. There, that's my little gold problem taken care of for the meantime. Ah, uh, well, let's just get our uh, gold, lacking gold back. I could attempt to steal food, but really, the marketplace is not with me today. 
Sail away and see what you will find. Unfortunate. This is where it ends, or at least, this is where the conclusion begins. As much as any game can truly end, your final challenge awaits you now. Uh, let's try. I do want the weapon. Not bad. At least it's 30 damage. And this might get me some equipment, which I'm all for. Excellent. So let's see. Berserker's Ring will give me health, which is good. Guildmaster's Ring will give me food. And Crushing Grips, I unlocked. Not subtle, to be fair, but then... Stunning never is. Crushing grips could be good. And I do need gauntlet. I think it's time to cut my losses and go back. see what we have. Ring of Reward. Uh, that is actually a ring I want. And although I want the Hag's Wraps. And the Immovable Object. Equipment. Especially free equipment. Could be a good deal. I'm sure you're grateful for that. We'll give it a try. Sorry, peasant. Uh, it would have been good to get the Kraken mask in battle practice, but they're a little far now. Nothing more pleasing than the smell of salt water and the rush of wind, is there? Nice, actually. Ring of experience will be of no use to me. I should, in fact, have removed it from my deck. Life Slim could be useful, and so could Mithril. I appreciate your ingenuity. I look forward to seeing how you approach this particular challenge. Nasty. This thing I have created. I can hardly bear the sight of it now. I've worked my way through its many convolutions so many times. Run through these conversations in my mind. Yeah, let's get it over, over with. And over again. Wondered how it all ends. Nothing here that I can really use. Master Ring would have been nice, and I would love some of these. Occult Ring is the real prize here. So you know what? It's time. Make even your curses a godsend. We're gonna need it. Especially with Blunted Aura. 
I never put much stock on mysterious voices myself. Excellent. Let's take a look. Plunder's ring could be useful. Golden ring of pain. I might not have gold. Crack and claw. Are you sure that's the right approach? I actually wanted to try showing it off. Sadly, I cannot use the healer. It's better than trudging along a muddy road. Certainly. Let me try for the treasure chest, actually. I can't give food to the trading post. The metal ore is somewhat useless, and the elder lizard would have been great to have it at. Maybe I can get a non-mimic chest. That's fine. This less so. A choice. Select your desire. All right, good. Fasting does have a way of focusing the mind. That should let me deal with the healer. A chance to buy more food. You must be relieved. So first, immediately some food. Let's take a look at the curses I can remove. Blunted aura goes. Corrupt healer goes. Heavy arrows I can keep. And Cursed Luck is nice to remove, but I have a feeling I'm going to have bad luck throughout the dungeon anyhow. I'm sure you are grateful for that. So this will at least tide us over, unless the next curses are absolutely awful. A horse is a fine companion. I'm sure you'll leave this one in time. You do not seem to have the temperament for friends, even in the animal kingdom. Perfect. Soul gem. Soul gem? Got rid of the dealer's curse, everybody. I am no longer getting cursed. This changes everything. I still can't get a blessing. Maybe. Do you have anything for me at all? Frostfang is useful, though I actually sort of like my luck. Helms, Helms. I'll have the Explorer's Helm. Gold would be nice. 
I think just in case. A good way to go hungry, perhaps. The Ring of Return. Haven't used it before. Reflecting projectiles gets me gold. Could be useful. Ugh, the tavern. Well, I don't want to be cursed, so I'm going to offer to help. Sure. Works for me. The master ring, and I have rings. Hex wraps are good, but. Hmm. Rat cleaver is 30 damage. I have a 30 damage weapon. Great beasts remain free. That pleases me. This could be bad. Or not. That works. This can only end one way, you know. Nope. This is now a freebie card. Hey, it's the Holy Forge. And guess what I have? The Kraken Claw might be useful in the final boss fight, but... Frankly, the battle hammer is just massive. You know, I bet that mage could have some pretty nice items. made that a little too powerful. I will have to rebalance that next time. With more gold, I might have removed excommunication from the priest and also bought blessings. But let's just see what we have here. No, still more of the same. But I might be able to make Plunder's cap work for me. Let me just check one thing here. Oh, I actually have no gauntlets. Okay. Well, Hag wraps it is. Oh. Never mind, I actually had crushing grips. But I think, actually... Interesting choice. Going the curse route. might be a little bit better here. Confirming. Nope, I kept the helm. Still have only a shield. Mithril is sort of okay. And this will be fine. Lots of rings here. Chance. Everything is chance. This is absolutely a breather card. We are not going to risk tampering with the world. Head downwards if you dare. Even though your victory will end me, I cannot hold it against you. Life cannot help but fight for life. Ooh, a last ambush. Now yeah, there's stuff I want.
Mercenary contract would be nice earlier, and Frostfang is a little bit... Oh, well... None of these are great, but Feathered Ice is actually stuff I need. I don't need food yet, but I do need to heal up. And a little back and forth while I check out the stuff in the shop will be worthwhile. And actually, let me go ahead and sell items I really don't need anymore. I don't need the fine blade. Undead Bane is sort of okay, but I've got the hammer. All these are going to be rings. And the crushing grips. Nice, but I don't need to worry yet. Let's see what else. Skeleton King Shield will be very useful against the skeleton. What we do with that? All other bosses. Okay, one last look. If I see something good, great. Otherwise, I will just heal up. That would have been nice. Mage Strike. Oh, actually, Mage Strike would be uh, amazing. You know what? Feathered Ice is nice, but if Mage Strike can take out a boss opponent, this is what I want. Sorry, Feather Dice. You were nice. But not that nice. I think I'm done. The Kraken Claw is actually kind of useful, so I may choose to do this. Let's take a last look. I've healed. I'm gonna do one little back and forth here just to extract the most I can out of my healing. Ignore this shop. And I'll explain my quick reasoning about why I'm looking at things. Mono Drain is not going to be a problem. I don't have any abilities I care too much about. And Heavy Arrows, I just need to be careful about. I don't think anything is going to be a huge problem with arrows. Maybe the Queen of Scales. I only have the Explorer's Helmet. I don't care. Same with the Skeleton King Shield. Mage Strike will be useful... Um, once I get to the King of Plague, and then once I get to the Lizardman, if I can survive that long. I will certainly try. Rings are just going to be what they are. They're either useful or not. The Occult Ring will raise my damage slightly. Hags Wraps versus Crushing Grips is kind of preferential. I don't expect I'll be able to stun anything seriously, because I'm no longer against regular enemies. And really, it's Battlehammer versus Kraken Claw. The Kraken Claw against the Lizardman could be fantastically useful. And also lower damage, but I do have a damage boost. Battlehammer is a huge amount of damage, but it is also slow, and I don't think I can unleash the powerful explosion. Additionally, the area of effect is not insignificant. So. Kraken Claw it is. I only have the Mithril. Again, you tilt at the windmill. You will not gain your victory this time. Well, we certainly have to try. As long as I don't make any foolish mistakes with the beams this time around. 
our final confrontation begins. I will not fall as easily as the other opponents you have faced. Right now, I am absolutely banking on avoiding everything they do. And eventually... Okay, Hag Raps is working. Which is exactly what I wanted. That's fine. All their unblockable attacks are fine. I still can't quite pull off the, um, the extra damaging attacks, but that's okay. It's more important that I just survive. Okay, good. So far, so good. But the queen is actually a massive danger to me because she's the one who can string the longest compass. Oh no. She gets first blow, but apparently that didn't hurt. There's possibly a ring helping me out here that I have managed to forget. There we go. Jack is down, everybody. The queen is left. And I need to stick around here once the queen goes down. Just to make sure I don't get caught in explosions. So, let's judiciously use the uh, exploding skeletons to my advantage. Ah! 
the uh, other skeletons are not too much of a problem, but come on, throw it, throw it, throw it. I don't actually care too much about the totem, even though it is a pain, mostly because I can just bash the skeletons. But hey, I've taken them out. See, like that. Now only the king is left, and he is not much of a problem. Ooh, I might want to get away from these though, or just have them set it down. There we go. So far, no rotation. We're still good. This is where it starts getting tough. Just. is going to be a pain. I could use the mage strike here. Nope. The queen is mercifully bugged. doing okay. I just need to survive the Rat King enough. Mage Strike doesn't work against the Wrath King. Well, that's unfortunate. I was hoping it would actually work. So I guess I am SOL and have to actually fight this properly and I should have used Feather Dice, everybody.
now my luck here. Nope. Mage Strike is, in fact, useless. However, this is the reason we got the Kraken Claw. Might as well just use up the artifact. Okay, the king is dead. Slicing through the shield was fantastic. Oh, no, no, no. You're on fire. That could kill me. Here. I think we're done. Uh, Not soon enough, if you ask me. for the game.